everyone. <laughs> uh, nice, to, nice to be with you again. Um, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about this new thing that's coming to uh, web3.storage. And that new thing is called uh, content claims. And content claims are kind of like find assertions that um, about a piece of content. Uh, and so they can say different things. So let me let me uh, share my screen because that would probably help before I just chat, chat, chat. There we go. Uh, content claims. Um, so there's various different types of claims you can make. So you can kind of think of uh, content claims like, um, uh, so in the DHT, you publish like provider records, which which say that um, this CID is provided by this particular peer on the network. Well, content claims are kind of like that, um, but they're UCANs, they're signed by people, but they say they can say different things. Like they can say that this particular content can be found at this uh, location in this car. Um, they say they can say things like this particular piece of content can be found in this uh, in this car. Uh, in these particular car shards, which is a partition claim. Um, and they could say something like, um, this particular uh, car file includes these uh, this these set of blocks and the, uh, the includes uh, CID here would be like a, a CID to a car v2 index, for example. So um, the new things that are coming to our new um, APIs that we're launching, um, hopefully uh, near the end of this year, uh, which will be fully fully UCANified, but we do have, we've kind of retrofitted them to the existing API. So you don't have to do anything. Um, but whenever you upload anything to web3.storage right now behind the scenes, um, what will happen is um, we will actually generate some content claims for your content. Um, and so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to upload a piece of content uh, and we're going to just explore uh, the content claims that got generated for it. Uh, so I'm going to use my account, which I have loads of stuff in, uh, you can barely lift it, lift it all out. So I'm going to try. Um, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a little photo to prove that this is real and live. Um, so here's the photo of me. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to upload, I'm going to upload this and I'll put it on my desktop first. I'm going to call it like, like shot. Plan. There we go. Uh, let's get rid of that. <laughs> uh, and then what you can do is you can just uh, like drag and drop your files and they uh, they get uploaded with a, we, we have <laughs> we have a small bug here, which is uh, off by uh, like a, a, little, a little bit. I don't know, it seems to upload and sometimes it doesn't, but hopefully it's uploading. Okay. There we go, that was better. Okay, so uh, here's my uh, mugshot here, and I've got the CID um, of my of my photo. I should just be able to go to w3s.link. I get uh, oh, it would help if I could spell not history. What are we doing here? Ah, w3s.link slash um, and that should hopefully be my my face. Lucky you. Or unlucky, as the case may be. Anyway, no new things so far. This is just what you can do with um, with uh, with fruit storage right now. But behind the scenes, what's happened is with a load of content claims have been um, have been created. And if you go to um, what is the URL? GraphQL.claims.dag.house right now because it's not officially launched. Um, we get like this GraphQL um, interface, which is really nice. Um, and what you can do here is you can just explore content claims that have been generated for a particular piece of content. So if I grab, if I just put that CID in, um, it's helpful if I have the content, but if also if I include the type name uh, and run that query, then in theory I should be able to get back. Uh, a list of the content claims that have been created for that particular CID. So we can see here, we've got a petition claim and something called a relation claim. Um, and uh, so um, a partition claim is basically saying that this piece of content is found in um, in these car CIDs. Like it's been, it's been put in a car file and sent to us. Uh, and sometimes um, when the content's really big, um, the the DAG will be split into multiple car files. So a partition claim can just basically say, this DAG can be found in these this set of car files. And so I can do a uh, dot, dot, dot on um, partition claim. Um, I can look, I can actually list out the parts here. Uh, and you can see here, we've got 
in this particular CID, there was one part, it's one car file. Uh, and then if I go to uh, cid.ipfs.io and paste it in, you can see that that CID is actually a car file, a content addressed archive. Um, so this relates, this CID addresses a car file directly. It's a, the CID, the hash of a car file. That's pretty cool, <laughs> <That's> right? <laughs> um, uh, but then we can go further and, um, oh, what you should be aware of is what's really nice is that you can actually look at the demo here and um, have a look at um, claims and you can like drill in and see like all of the information here is really nice. Uh, anyway, back to, back to what I was saying. Um, so you can go, you can just, you can keep going. So I can say, well, I've got this um, car CID. What are the claims that were made about this car CID? So if I put claims in here, then I can see if there are any claims that were made by um, uh, for this particular um, car CID. So let's run that. And then we get back the same thing, but look, we've got like an extra extra piece here, which says that this car, uh, th there's, a, um, there's an inclusion claim here. Um, and an inclusion claim basically says that um, there is uh, another CID um, has some information about what is included in this piece of content. And uh, with inclusion claims, what you can um, what you can do is you can do on on in bear with me, I'm not super good at typing. <laughs> uh, and inclusion claims um, include so you can ask for uh, the the CID. Um, the CID of a thing that will describe what this CID includes. Uh, and in this case, this will be a CID to a car v2 index. It's a car v2 multi hash index sorted index. Um, so an inclusion claim is basically saying this car, uh, for this car, this uh, index has information about what, what blocks are in it and at what byte offsets you can find them. That's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, and, and then we can keep we can keep going, going even deeper. Uh, so claims for claims for this one. Um, let's do let's have a look at type name. Uh, if we do claims for the this one, we've got another partition claim. Ah, so partition claims again saying that this particular CID is found in a car in a um in a, in a car part or. Part. So let's have a look at the part. Um, I swear this is like as deep as we're going to go. Uh, the content. Uh, but you can see how this is. Oh, uh, I need to do dot on partition claim. There we go. Uh, sorry, it's got to zoom right in my way, as you can imagine. Uh, there we go. So I think that's that's good now. So yeah, and and that is. A Again, a car CID. So, in theory, what what this is saying is that um, this car v two index can be found in this car CID. And I, I can actually go to the gateway like w three s dot link um, ipfs and put in this car CID, um, and it will download it uh, and put it in like here. I'll just put it on my desktop for now. Um, um, and um, it, that car should have a car v two index in it. Luckily, we can prove it. So let's do that. Um, ah, zoom, get out of the way. I need a terminal. There we go. Here we go. I've got this. Um, hang on. Make it bigger. Make it bigger. Uh, so I'm, I'm on my desktop. What time? Do I have time? I've got time. Okay. <laughs> Don't panic. It's okay. Um, on, on the desktop, we've got. I've got this handy um, kind of IPLD Explorer thing. Um, oh, oh. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I've got it. It's fine. Um, uh, and what I can do is I can do IPLD. Uh, sorry, I can do a import. And then what's that car? What's that? Um, the name of that. So if I import, uh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> right. OK, so cool. There we go. And so if I inspect this, then I can see that this is actually an, uh, a multi hash index sorted car. Um, and it's telling me that these two, um, these two multi hashes, these are like base 58 BTC encoded multi hashes. Uh, one of them is, this is probably the directory that cause it, was, it was in a directory and then that's probably the file. Um, well, actually it doesn't matter because these are actually byte offsets. These aren't file sizes, are they? Ah, okay, anyway. 
one of them is the directory, one of them is the actual file, um, but these are the byte offsets within the car that you can find these blocks. And so we can actually prove that that is true um, for my um, my mugshot, wherever that went. There it is, oh God, okay. Um, uh, so that's that's the ID. Um, I need to grab. I need to somehow get a multi hash uh, out of that CID. I can use so IPFS tool has a cool CID tool um, which uh, allows you to um, yeah. it allows you to uh, reformat CIDs. Uh, it's really hard to speak and type. Do you ever try that? It's really hard. Um, uh, the, is it bit dash B or I don't know. Um, 58 BTC. So I, I've got like, so what, what we're saying is like, uh, I prefer CID format me a CID and the present M means give me a multi hash uh, dash B gives me uh, like tells it to encode it in base 58 BTC. And this is the CID of my uh, mugshot there, which is just, you can see behind, you can see the see throughs. Um, so then that, that should come out as that. And then, um, oh, uh, can I move that to a new window? No, I can't. Okay. Anyway, there you go. So look, for, for, Poo six, e is uh poo six e. So this thing, this um this particular multi hash, um uh, multi hash index sorted index is indeed describing the blocks that are in my car. And because I can, because I downloaded this multi hash sorted index from our gateway, um via a car file, I can also download the car file. Uh, that my co my actual content is in. We had we had we have like the very first um, claim we explored is partition claim, and it said that it's in this content. So if I download this uh, car file, it will have my content in it. Um, which I could maybe do. I've got two minutes left. Oh, okay. This is previously unexplored territory, but I should be able to download this and then do. Um, okay, so CD. Uh, uh, where did that go? Um, is over here is that one? I put it there. Uh, desk desktop, and then um, what are you called? That's that one. Uh, whoa! Don't shoot. It's actually the app store. I just want. I should just use the command line. Like being a name banner. Uh, so that was like five VA, right? Um, IPFS car tool. Um list great okay the, uh, okay that's not quite what i want um blocks okay there we go uh blocks there we go the blocks um not quite sure what i was going for there anyway um so this car has has blocks for my file in it but essentially what what it means is that um you can use content claims to um to given a like root cid of some content um, what you can do is client side, go and use content claims, figure out like what car it's in, what blocks are in that car and what byte offsets they're at. Um, and then just go and get the blocks that you need. You don't have to download the whole, and what's cool about the, um, the, the gateway where you're, where you can download car files is that, um, you can actually issue HTTP range requests, uh, to it. So once you've got the car V2 multi-hash index, you can actually say, well, I want these blocks and they're at these particular ranges in, in the car, in my target car. So go and get me those blocks. And then you can do like batching to just extract the bits you need. Um, and you can all do that client side. And what's happening in our gateway when we are, um, because we receive cars from users and we store cars uh, at rest in like buckets, um, it, the, the server doesn't have to do any work. Like we make range requests to cars. And, uh, and that's about it.